The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. With over 17,000 markets and extended trading hours, turn US earnings season volatility into opportunity. Get started at IG.com. And our stock of the day is West Farmers. The retail conglomerate has reported a 3.7% rise in annual profit, boosted by strong sales across its divisions, but primarily from its top retail units, Bunnings and Kmart. So net profit after tax for the full year came in at $2.56 billion, which is in line with estimates, and higher than $2.47 billion a year ago. But we always look forward to the updates coming from these companies and for the first two months of the FY25 year, Bunnings has seen sales moderate from the second half of 24, impacted by softening building activity. Shareholders will receive a final dividend of $1.07 per share, higher than what they saw last year. And of course, all the brokers are weighing in on this one. Big report today. Jardin for one saying that it's another quality result from the company with cash flow strong and a trading update pretty positive, but uh, it says the, the qualitative commentary was softer for both Bunnings and Kmart for FY25 so far, which may see consensus trim forecasts a touch, leaving the stock weaker today. And that is the case, as my guest here in studio, Jonathan Takadina from MPC Markets, alluded to a little bit earlier on. So West Farmers, clean, pretty clean result. Yes. Yeah. So where's the concern? Okay, so uh, year-to-date, West Farms is up about 33-odd percent, so from the beginning of the year to right now. So it's had a great run from, you know, we're at 74 right now, but it hit 76. And what the market was pricing in was absolute perfection. And uh, truth be told, West Farms management, top of the line uh, results, they've actually beat everything you know, in terms of consensus, but it hasn't beaten and shot the lights out. And what's, uh, what we've seen is kind of just a small pullback here uh, in the share price. And I, I hate to say it, but I think we're, we're close to a top here on West Farmers on, on the current trajectory. So no, if you're holding, continue to do so. You've had a great run for the year and you've got to just got to let your winners run. Fresh money, I wouldn't put it in here uh, right now. I'd be kind of waiting for a pullback down to maybe the, the low 70s to, for an entry. So at the moment, uh, they, you know, great, great results, but for, for at the moment, just a hold. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Fresh money, I wouldn't put uh, into play, but if, you, if you've still got it, just uh, continue to uh, enjoy the run. Okay, let's go to Ben Richards from Seneca Financial Solutions on West Farmers. Would that be a buy, hold, or sell today? Yeah, I think the results kind of showed some a little bit of uh, disappointment versus consensus in terms of the start of the year, uh, particularly with Bunnings uh, and Kmart as well. So it's, it's one of those ones where, you know, it's been a hotly anticipated results, our largest retailer, what can you kind of take away from it? Well, I think broadly it looks strong. As Jonathan said, it was you know a good result. It was largely in line in terms of FY24, but it's it's really the outlook that the market's focusing on. Uh, and you know this this is a company that's now on 30 times PE versus its long-term average of 20 times. Uh, so 12 months ago it was trading at $50 roughly. Uh, and you know if if you're a holder of this stock, you're probably looking at it for dividend income. The, the, f- the full year dividend of 198 cents on the the 77 dollars share price that it was before today is a yield of just 2.56 percent, uh, and it is fully franked, of course. Uh, but you know that's that's quite low for a, a retailer that's doing three percent profit growth as it did last year. So there's lots of kind of moving parts, and, and I'm sure the uh, the analyst community will have a bit more to unpack in terms of the result over the next day or two. But it's probably just a bit richly priced for us. Um, you can see kind of what happened to the share price last time it got to a, a 30 times PE, which is its all-time high valuation, uh, and that was you know a negative year or you know 12 to 18 months that pre- preceded it. So yeah, it's not one that we're chasing. We think there's probably better value within the sector, uh, and it's probably a sell if you're trying to optimise your returns over the next kind of two to three years. Right. Okay. So that is a hold if you have it though. I can kind of see the attraction of being a hold for a long-term kind of never sell investor, but you know, that's not what I'm in the business of doing. That's not mm-hmm. what Jonathan's probably okay. in the business of doing. Yeah. So it's a sell. To sell. If you've got it, take your profits and run. All right. That is the stock of the day, which was West Farmers. 
The stock of the day was brought to you by IG. Turn volatility into opportunity this US earnings season with extended trading hours on over 110 key US shares. Get started at IG.com.